Howdy folks, welcome back. This is Zelgrax and Siberius. Was pausing for you to say hello like you did last time, but whatever. Um, we are uh, playing some... Uh, playing some... <laughs> Total War Warhammer 2. Doing some uh, multiplayer battles. Uh, hoping this one will go a little bit better. And I'm going back to the, the army I know best, which is the Empire. I am going lizardy. You're going lizards. Interesting. I have to. This is this is tricky. Um, Isn't it? I've I have a lot of experience playing as the Empire in real life. Uh, I would say at least fifteen years of playing it through multiple versions of um, of of Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, so it's it's kind of nice being able to uh, play some. This is like this is like playing your traditional like what you what you know and love. Right, exactly. Um, I have done pretty much every build under the sun when it comes to uh, comes to the empire. Uh, I've gone uh, all cavalry, uh, all shooting lots of magic um proper traditional um detachment based army i pretty much i think i've, I've covered like the full spectrum really haven't i yeah. over the years um and yeah I, I, you know I, I think that the the nice thing about about the empire is their versatility You've done some builds that aren't even under the sun. I mean, you know. Mhm. Mm yeah. Wacky builds. Huh? Some wacky builds before. I, I've done some very wacky builds. Uh, I mean, literally, I have had an entire army on bardic war horses, which can be quite bad when someone targets you with a spell, where everyone on a one dis just disappears in a unit. It's not good when you have thirty knights in one unit and they all die. That was a rough day. I think I was against the high elf player in that campaign we were doing. How does this feel? I almost feel like these aren't worth it. Can I do that? No. Nope. Right. Let me go back to that. Already. Hmm? Uh, just saying, I'm running out of stuff already. <clears throat> yeah, I um, me too. Anything? Not really. Uh, you know what? Let me go over there. I can do that. Alright. <clears throat> I'm not convinced about this build. In the club. I mean, I think by my standards, this is relatively balanced. Hmm. 
um, approximately. And I'd say, you know, based off the old things, I, I might be a little light on core. It's hard to say. But it's not utterly ridiculous either. I expect you to be light on core. <laughs> well, I mean, the problem is a lot of the Empire's core. I mean, I suppose just standard knights are not too too bad, but a lot of the the core just isn't isn't all that great. Um, that's that's um, the real problem. I mean, like it, you know, like their standard infantry is a bit rubbish. Yeah, but it's it's. Uh... It's strength in numbers is their strategy, which maybe you're not comfortable with. Uh, well, especially on here, because strength in numbers really just disappear sometimes. Can. Um, can be very difficult. Um, the summer song looks nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm good with summer with song. That. All yeah. right, are we ready to launch in? Ready. I've got 41 gold I haven't spent. Seems like a lot. You could add a level to someone for that, probably. Oh man, I didn't know you could do that. Um, There's a little up arrow thingy. I don't know. Did you do that in the last game? Yep. And now I've only got two gold. My yeah, Alrighty. I have two gold as well. My um, my knights in the last one, my dragon uh, princes, were level three. Which probably contributed to them taking the most kills. Um, they also ripped into either the back or side of your black orcs, which I think helped them a lot. <laughs> I it was so hard to keep track of my units in that last one. It was great because your black orcs were just going at exactly the same speed as two units of uh, sea guard they were chasing, <laughs> and as they did that, my knights just came across from the other side of the battlefield and just kept going and kept going until they smashed into the orcs. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. Um, okay. Yeah, this is cool. This is just... Yeah, okay. Uh, this this feels nice. I think we will... Swordsman! Hand gunner! Not really state troops, that's a lie. Great sword! Thank you. Demi Griff Knight! That's an order! Hellstorm! Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I just selected my uh, some of my artillery and they just said don't miss fire <laughs> <laughs> that shows how much faith they have in Swordsman. themselves Ready for war. just how true to the game they are as well because let's face it it's what they do oh yeah um, some more than others. Hellstorm rocket battery. We are Sigma there. Right. All right. Don't feel fully confident about this, but I think I'm ready. Outriders. Oh boy! It'd be interesting to see. <laughs> <laughs> how we've set up. <laughs> yeah. It's entirely possible we've just set up on...
Stop doing that. Um, you guys. For France, we serve the Emperor. That's going to be interesting. It's not going well. Okay, not a fan of that. My, 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 my middle ranks just got absolutely obliterated here. <laughs> I, I just, I couldn't keep track of my middle because I was trying to keep track of everything else. As a result, yeah. I have no middle. Do not take. Oh dear. My wizard just tried to fight your carnosaur in battle. Saw that. I'm not sure why that happened, but apparently it did. Oh boy. Yeah, there we go. That was devastating. Save replay. I'm saving the replay. Hey. Okay. It succeeded. Unlike the battle, which went very, very poorly. It claims it was say, a close defeat. I don't believe <laughs> it. I will say, I, I've been playing the Lizard's Money campaign, so I am pretty used to their units. <sighs> Shenanigans. I don't feel too bad considering you've been playing them. <laughs> you've played the Empire campaign pretty extensively. I did in the in the first uh, the first one, yeah. This is, this is pretty much how I build all my armies in that as well. So, block of Taurus, some temple guard for some, some hardiness, some skirmishes for distraction. Uh, the, the solar engine for the Dapastor one is just insane. It's, nasty. it's so good. Yeah. I really like the revivification one too, and the life slant for the, 
for the healing. Mm-hmm. Um, if you can just pocket a bunch of uh, units and slap them with healing, that's pretty pretty good. Yeah. And I don't know what why, but I find the Scarvet on Carnosaur, like, because I I'm doing Krogar campaign. Mm-hmm. Um. And I have Krogar in one army, and I then I have a. Like I basically have this army mm-hmm. as a second army with a slant, life slant, and the old blood. I mean, Scarvet. Scarvet is insane. He just devastates everything. Mm. Um, and Krokgar's okay, but he's like level I don't know thirty something. Wow. Um, and he yeah. Oh, you can just pop all of his um, <laughs> one go and charge into the middle of their army, and he just wrecks it. Uh huh. So that was pretty much what I attempted in this as well. It succeeded. Especially seeing you had some juicy targets as well. You had a lot of firing stuff. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, once I was, because uh, my army's fairly fast, I was able to kind of close in, I think. Yeah. I, I, I was disappointed by the, the kills from the, uh, the rocket batteries there. I feel like they should have done more on your way in, but I guess they are quite inaccurate. So, um, yeah. the, once again, Demigriffs did great didn't know you had demigriffs yeah played they, the entire game i didn't even see them where were they uh they got taken out by the cold ones well they were on that side attacking mm-hmm. the skirmishers okay yeah they started with the skirmishers and then fought and lost against the uh the cold ones and then the problem was they were right on the edge so they didn't have a chance to rally yeah um I saw you going over there and i figured well my cold ones are anti-large so hopefully they'll be able to help out they were. Um, the Outriders were good. Yeah, they, they were. They, they had, they're, they're very effective. I figured, like, it was okay to kind of dip heavily into them because, you know, they could do some harrying and stuff. But the problem was, that, I mean, they, they were my last stand, and that's not how that's supposed to work. My, my greatswords got obliterated. Yeah. Soros are just very reliable. Hmm. Um, and I kept popping uh, melee buffs in there into the middle as well to try and help. Mm. I I wanted to but couldn't. It was just a disaster. Oh well, <clears throat> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. It was in no way deeply distressing for me. Uh, I don't think the army composition was quite right for me there, but what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> Get better. Yeah, apparently. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.